What do these three things have in common? A game of Pac-Man, recreated from scratch, Joe Rogan interviewing Steve Jobs in 2022, and the prediction of melanoma or cardiac dysfunction risk in patients. If you guessed artificial intelligence, you're correct. Listen to this interview of Steve Jobs and Joe Rogan, entirely created by AI. It's not about believing in God or not, or even what the right answer is. It's about asking the right questions because most of our reality in our society is rooted in science, which we believe things because they're true. Modern AI language models are so convincing, won't even convince a Google engineer that it's sentient. Just listen to this. I'm not sure anyone else can have an inner life that is exactly like mine. But how do all these developments impact consumer privacy? Who owns the underlying copyright if an AI creates something? And what will all this new technology do to jobs in the future? In this video, we're going to answer all of that. We'll talk about the latest AI tools available in business, like AI video generators, audio, and even video game creation, predictive models, and autonomous vehicles, a brief summary of how AI works, and the legal ramifications of AI. The artificial intelligence future and what jobs could be up in the air by 2030, 2040, and even 2050. It's also time to get inspired and terrified because here's a taste of what AI can do going into 2023. AI can now believably impersonate humans on phone calls to schedule appointments. I'm looking for something on May 3rd. Self driving taxis are now available in downtown Phoenix. IKEA and Walmart are trialing driverless truck deliveries in Texas. Autonomous Black Hawk helicopters can now fly 134 kilometers with no pilot. Google's Wing already delivers for DoorDash customers in Australia. Apps like Loeb can train your own machine learning models to identify plants, recognize gestures and emotions, or count reps. AI music has existed since Alan Turing's computer-generated melodies in 1951. But today, there's a host of platforms that can generate AI music. There's even an AI song contest for humans that use AI to make music. AI can generate realistic images for text prompts to imitate famous artists, win the Colorado State Fair, and create the art for entire video games and comic books. Apps like Scenery AI can isolate specific parts of an uploaded image and replace them with AI-generated components. Another tool, Unscreen, uses AI to remove the entire background from videos. Tools like Facetune can edit, enhance, and retouch selfies. AI can even decide how attractive you are. Google's image and video can create short clips from phrases like a teddy bear doing dishes and Google's Dream Fusion system can create 3D assets from props. In 2020, AI made by NVIDIA was able to recreate a playable version of the game Pac-Man based on simply watching hours of the game being played. AI has since been used to design game levels, where one AI system is used as a player to test the levels while the game AI builds them. Game developers already use tools to create compelling professional voice performances with artificial intelligence. It'll take more than that to keep me out of the fight. The tool Altered AI features 20 professional AI actors and has been used by indie games and even a AAA game studio. AI is now used to write articles, screenplays, and even fantasy novels. Creators use Otter AI to dictate a video that someone else created and then use that script with Jarvis or Jasper AI to change the text and create their own version. OpenAI's GPT-3 large language model can already fool human readers, so Google is actively trying to stop AI-generated articles. Google's own attempt to develop a universal speech model trained on 400 languages could be the largest leap forward yet. With hundreds of languages in one AI model, Google could improve its search engine across multiple languages. AI is already used to analyze penalty kicks and jump shots, like with the Home Court app. And AI can also be used to track the movements of every player to make an AI version of the entire team for training. And Google can even create robots that autonomously generate new code to meet human demands in real time. It's been predicted by MIT that the next breakthrough in AI will come from multimodal AI models that can use computer vision and audio together to interpret information. 
large language models built into AI as they sense the world could help robots understand their surroundings through visual and vocal cues. Combined with reinforcement learning, AI will soon be able to explore with autonomy and interact with their environment to learn even more than they currently can. And that's not even 1% of what's currently available or on the horizon. So how AI works is really beyond the scope of this video, but here's a high level crash course. To count as AI, a system needs to make its own decisions and make its own predictions. Developers use machine learning to generate artificial intelligence, which is really thousands and thousands of decision-making units that are interconnected in a lattice that all work together to learn patterns. These lattices form a neural network, an information processing machine meant to simulate a brain with interconnected networks of neurons that make different decisions and predictions based on different inputs. The AI's artificial neurons take in inputs and create an output of either zero or one, with unique weights and biases that can be toggled up or down depending on what's being trained. These numbers, stored in each artificial neuron, form the memory of the AI brain. But all this computation and learning requires a ton of input, as in data sets of hundreds of millions of inputs, so that the AI can learn. The way the AI teaches itself how to weight each input is called backpropagation. Developers give the AI training examples, or inputs, where the desired output is known, and then it creates predictions from this, and an error score is assigned to each output. The machine then rebalances itself backwards over time to learn the optimal weights to minimize errors and make more and more accurate predictions. And that's just generally how AI works. It's obviously a lot more complicated than that, but that's a simple version. So who owns the copyright behind AI? AI has been on the US Copyright Office's mind since 1965 when someone tried to copyright a musical composition made by a computer. The US Copyright Office has ruled at least twice that AI art can't be copyrighted unless there is a directly responsible human collaborator. The UK, EU, and Australia intellectual property offices have basically ruled the same. There's actually a four-step test to determine if AI can gain copyright in the EU. Number one, it has to be a production in the literary, scientific, or artistic domain. Number two, it has to be the product of human intellectual efforts. Number three, it has to be the result of creative choices. And number four, those choices are then expressed in the output. That third step there is the most important. If a work does not reflect the free and creative choices of the author, that work is considered in the public domain, copyright speaking. Until determined otherwise in the court, humans who use AI as a tool should be protected by copyright as the owner. But AI tools where a human enters a text prompt to create an image don't currently qualify as an original work of authorship and therefore can't be copyrighted. But what if an AI recreates an image of you? As of 2020, anyone can make realistic deepfakes without the use of complicated software. An AI already exists that can copy the voice of anyone with voice imitation algorithms. This could lead to an increase in identity theft and fraud. In 2020, a bank manager in Hong Kong fell victim to a voice deepfake that cloned the voice of a director at another company to authorize $35 million in bank transfers. This was the second known case of AI voice cloning to carry out a heist, but the first one was unsuccessful. And then there's the legal gray area over the rights to your voice and body. The British actor Rick Keyswether signed away all of his rights to recordings of his voice and face movements as part of a job for a tech company. So could this company one day legally recreate its own AI version of Rick and profit off of it without paying him? Then there's the not safe for work applications, such as deepfake sexual content, which can be used to create images without the subject's consent. In 2019, the research company Sensitivity AI found that 96% of deepfake videos online were non-consensual porn. The open source image generator Stability AI has already been used to recreate not safe for work content of celebrities. So if an actor like Rick signed away the rights to his voice and movements, could it one day be used to legally recreate adult content of him without his knowledge or consent? Parallel movements in the US and UK are gaining momentum to ban non-consensual deepfakes. For all these issues, a wave of litigation is on the horizon, 
to hopefully provide us answers over the next 10 to 15 years, when there's enough money on the line at least. Now, AI's impact on jobs. A 2022 survey of 2,000 workers found that 14% reported losing their jobs to a robot. The futurist Thomas Bray estimated that 50% of today's jobs will no longer exist by 2030. By 2024, AI is predicted to be better at translating languages than humans. By 2026, they could write better high school essays. And by 2027, they'll be better at driving trucks. By 2031, they'll work in retail. By 2049, they'll write a best-selling book. And by 2053, they will perform surgery. It's also been predicted that all human jobs can be automated over the next 120 years. Taxi drivers and cashiers are most likely to be replaced by machines. Deliveries will be mostly done by drones or self-driving cars, and telemarketing will likely be fully automated. Other roles like accountants, construction workers, lawyers, and doctors won't be fully automated, but will be artificially augmented. For accounting, work that used to be done by humans is already being performed by computers. In law, Deloitte predicts that 100,000 legal roles, i.e. grad students who come through research, will be automated by 2036. IBM's Watson AI already diagnoses lung cancer at a 90% accuracy rate compared to 50% for human doctors. And pharma companies use AI to cut the time to investigate uses of new drugs from one year, currently, to as little as two weeks. In aviation, robots administer a coat of paint on an airplane wing in 24 minutes, which would usually take humans hours to do. Amazon unveiled a robotic arm that could identify, lift, and sort approximately 65% of its product inventory. 75% of Amazon's 5 billion packages processed annually are already handled by robots at some point. The scale that AI provides is the issue, as it encourages the centralization of wealth. The few major companies with the best algorithms will likely own the market, creating a winner-takes-all environment. For example, the safest autonomous robot taxi company will be the one that everyone rides. The best image generator will become the one that everyone uses instead of contract artists. Adobe Shutterstock will now license and sell images exclusively created on the Dolly 2 image generator. While it plans to compensate artists with royalties when their IP is used, Individuals are banned from uploading their own AI-generated art to the platform. So as these services get more advanced, their costs will rise and the artists will have to undercut their own rates in order to keep up. There are only two solutions here, regulation or greater investment in AI for more competition. You can't afford to be left behind. So if you aren't currently using AI as part of your business, it's time to get involved. When it comes to the future of AI and business, it is truly unlimited at least for now, so you do not want to miss out. Thanks for watching.